Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services. It's a video on daily news and editorial analysis, which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express. And the important news and editorial that would be relevant for the preparation of civil services examination will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with the news topic list. Today is 29th of July. The first important news is about Indian Institute of Management Amendment Bill 2023, which has come with provisions where the president will be the mandatory part of the visitor. We'll see the detail. Second, that is India-Japan to strengthen the peacetime cooperation. Third, Prime Minister inaugurated Semicon India 2023. This Semicon India will further call for investment of semiconductor industry in India. Second last, that is Indian companies to list on foreign exchange through IFSC. And the last is an editorial charting the path for the sixth finance commissions. Apart from the news and editorial discussion, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based questions. These questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming prelims examination. So without any further ado, let's get started. And before that, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe APT Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do hit that like button. Starting the session, the first news that is Indian Institute of Management Amendment Bill 2023, something important for general studies paper too, that is the parliament and state legislature structure, functions, conduct of businesses, power and privileges and issues arising from it. So starting with the provisions and the important aspects in the bill. So the union government has tabled the bill and this particular bill aims to propose the changes where the president of India will be the visitor for all Indian Institute of Management. If you see the part of IMs, I am Ahmedabad, I am Calcutta and I am Bengaluru. And these are the top notch institutions that is working and they are dedicated towards the management studies. No, just to get an idea, Jitnebi IIMs, they are all best among the equals and they are performing well in terms of their academic. But some IIMs that has already been there, like I am Ahmedabad at Calcutta, has done a commendable job. Now, the Indian Institute of Management Amendment Bill 2023 seeks to make amendment in 2016 IIM Act. So, this is the act, this is the latest act before this amendment, so upon which the provisions were actually being implemented. Now, if the concept of visitors, ki agar baat kare, this was first introduced in the draft 2017 and the act which was released uh, in 2015 part of release and then built it through and allowed it. Presently, there are 20 IIMs in the country that is operational. Kai aise nahi IIMs hai, IIM Indore, IIM Bodh Gaya, these have been operational, IIM Ranchi. So, these are some other IIMs hai, that are doing their best. Now provisions in the bill, nominations ki power ki baat ki gai hai and this will be there with the president of India. So the institution of management amendment bill empowered the president of India to nominate the chairperson of the board of governor, oversee the appointment as well as removal of the directors and audit the function of the institution. Now all these three power will be under the president of India. Right. Before that, there were some other things that were operational. I'll make you understand that also. I will tell you in a while that what are the things that were been in practice before. Now, the above mentioned part, which I have discussed, uh, has limited the autonomy for the India's premier business school. Or currently, if you the chairperson ki of the board of the governor is appointed by the board itself. The board, he une actually, um, they used to nominate. Uh, there's an internal function that takes place and among the eminent person or the distinguished in the field in the industries of education, science and technology or management or the public administrations or among the others that is taken into the board. The board of the governor is the principal executive body of each IM and has a power to appoint search panel for the appointment to take new directors and take decision approve annual budgets and determine the fee of the institution. So this is how the thing actually works. But after this amendment, these all powers will rest with the President of India. Now, IIM Act 2017, this act gave uh, the, this actually come into force in 2018. 
provide that the institution for higher degree of autonomy over the functioning with the very limited role of the government so basically 2017 ki jo part usme government ke role ko kafi kam rakha gaya now this time also role of the government is less but president of india will be the whole sole authority in taking the decision the board of the governor of the each institutions comprises 19 members including one representation from the central and state government so the bill of the amendment has tabled in the parliament it has to be approved in both houses once it is approved the president of india has a prerogative to seek upon the part of the board of directors and other matters now moving ahead india japan to strengthen the peace time cooperation something important for general studies paper 2 that is the effect of policies and politics of developed and developing countries on india's interest and india's diaspora so if you look at the part recently the external affairs minister of india mr s jay shankar has met his japanese counterpart and they have outlined the vision that how both countries are need to be prepared to face china in the part of the war against thai even for any country like it is taiwan or china uh, basically the taiwan or india agar dono countries ki baat kare dono ko prepare hone ki zarurat hai that how they can counter the part of china so these two country are somewhere looking for the homogeneity in their problem right so india is working towards strengthening the defense and security cooperations and they are working ahead that how we can overcome the problem with regards to the china specifically over the south china sea and indo pacific region and india and taiwan side both enhance the part of partnership in the indo pacific region taiwan ke liye bhi indo pacific mein ek neutrality honi ek rule based order honi ki kafi zyada zarurat hai both side are conducting a joint exercise across three services uh, respective of the armed forces are considering preparation to face the chinese challenge now this was a meeting that took place uh, between india and taiwan he the, the foreign minister for india was there and external affairs minister uh, i mean both dono side ke jo external affairs minister se was there on the meeting now india japan defense cooperation ki agar baat kare the india and japan are now planning to take significant leap in defense partnership how because they are looking forward for a free and open indo pacific something very important which india has been lot advocating for agar baat kare quad ki quad is again an important membership and even ocus mein bhi iske bare mein baat ki gayi hai right so these are some of the forum which which has called for the indo pacific multi layer high security contract ki baat ki gayi hai which will be the backbone for india and japan relations high level exchange that is acting on the driving force to push towards our society and defense cooperation in january this year Indian Air Force Japan Self Defense Forces conducting a bilateral fighter jet training Wear Guardian 2023 for the first time showing their combined air powers Now moving ahead with other news that is Prime Minister inaugurated the part of Semi Con India 2023 so the inauguration was made at Gujarat in Gandhinagar something important for general studies paper 2 that is the government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from a design and implementations so recently prime minister inaugurated semi india 2023 in gandhinagar gujarat the prime minister noted that india is capable of becoming a trusted chip supplier in the world although agar baat kare pli jaisi schemes ki production link incentive scheme government has devised a rule for that as well but india definitely want to excel in the part of the chip making right the prime minister noted that india will become the great conductor uh, basically for the global semiconductor sector this is what the prime minister has noted in a statement the conference was attended by the top representative from the major companies like micron technology applied material foxconn a semi caden and amd ye sare world ke sabse top most semiconductor chip builders and they have their uh, apex and epitome in the industry now this is the second edition of the conference which uh, previously 2022 may be held ki gayi thi and this is new uh, several products will be launched and actually was forecasted that how the semiconductor industry is actually mushrooming and deepening down in the research activities 
सेमी कंडक्टर इंडस्ट्रीज की अगर बात करें इंडिया हैज़ अ बिग रोल टू प्ले इन द ग्लोबल सेमी कंडक्टर इंडस्ट्रीज एंड इंडिया रोल इज इनहेबिटेबल डाउन द लाइन अगर फिर आने वाले कुछ दस सालों में देखें इवन फॉर फाइव ईयर्स इंडिया विल हैव अ सब्सटैंशियल प्रोग्रेस राइट न द नेशन इज फोकस टू बिल्ड ऑन द चिप मेकिंग इको सिस्टम विद इन फेसिंग द स्टेबल रिस्पॉन्सिबल रिफॉर्म ओरिएंटेड गवर्नमेंट टू फर्दर इंसेंटिवाइज इंडिया हैज on the lowest corporate tax that has made taxation process faceless and seamless now government has provided a special incentive to semiconductor industries as well bahut sari aisi policy making mein changes ki gayi hai so that the semiconductor industries are actually finding a right place in india additionally export ki agar baat kare the electronic manufacturing has doubled in the past in the year over 200 multiple manufacturing units so this is how things are functioning just to give you the part of the growth that the semiconductor industry in india had so these are the detail from the cagr so semiconductor industries in india from 2015 it was 14% and 2020 it has taken a toll up to 52.8% and by 2020 the semiconductor industry is designed to expand and their further aims to grow definitely there is a road map that has been devised after the semicon india conclave Now broadband users की अगर बात करें इंडिया में सो इंडिया हैज़ अ सिक्सटी मिलियन यूजर्स और ये ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन की बात है एंड दिस हैज टेकन अ टोल अप टू एट हंड्रेड मिलियन यूजर राइट एंड इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड फर्दर ये इंक्रीज होगी एट फिफ्टी तक रिप्रेजेंटेशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू कंपनी लाइक मटीरियल फॉक्सकॉन सेमी कैनबन ई एम डी दीज आर द पार्ट ऑफ द कंपनीज दैव अटेंडेड एंड इंडिया हैज़ रिसेंटली अप्रूव द नेशनल क्वांटम मिशन through which the government has identified 300 colleges where the courses on semiconductor will be available now the theme of the semicon india is catalyzing the part of india semiconductor ecosystem it aims to bring the global leadership from industry academia research to showcase india's semiconductor strategy and policies electronic manufacturing sectors ki agar baat kare india has made a huge progress in the electronic manufacturing as well 30 billion जो कि पहले थी इट हैज नाउ हंड्रेड बिलियन टेकिंग अ टोल एंड द प्रेजेंस इज लाइक टू हंड्रेड मोबाइल मैनुफैक्चरिंग यूनिट्स इंडिया में दैट इज ऑपरेशन एंड इट विल फर्दर इंक्रीज द सेमी कॉन इंडिया कॉन्फ्रेंस विद द यू एस चिप मेकर दैट इज द एडवांस माइक्रो डिवाइस जिसे ए एम डी के नाम से भी जाना जाता है दे हैव प्रोमिस दैट दे विल बी इन्वेस्टिंग एन एम ओ यू विल बी साइन फोर हंड्रेड बिलियन मिलियन डॉलर्स की बात की गई है फॉर द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर and they will be establishing their tech hub in bangalore now moving to the other news that is indian companies to list the foreign exchange through ifsc right something important for general studies paper 3 that is indian economy and issues related to planning mobilization resource growth and development so union minister for finance has said that indian company could directly list this year on foreign exchange operating at the gift city based on the international finance services the finance minister also launched a clearing mechanism and make part for the development jahan pe basically jo vibrant corporate bond market hai usko aur flourish ki jayegi explore ki jayegi and it will be further strengthen that bond market in india is well regulated and well set the fund will be equipped with 33000 crore rupees to stabilize the debt market in the country Now, limited purpose clearing corporation की establishment की गई है It has its own significance. So the finance minister inaugurated the part of limited purpose clearing corporations, which is uh, like mechanism जहाँ पे AMC जो है Repo Clearance Limited, and the corporate debt market development fund will help the development of the vibrant corporate bond in India. If you see the part post COVID, बहुत सारी ऐसी bond markets हैं mutual fund houses हैं. and even the stocks the part of the growth has seen surge and it is expected that further it will surge the finance minister has announced that this will uh, actually this part were already announced by the finance minister about the clearances corporations or uski inaugurations kar di this is expanded to improve the liquidity in the underlying corporate bond market now moving ahead with the editorial of the day that is the part of charting the path for the 16 finance commission this is important for general studies paper 3 that is inclusive growth and issues arising from it so from the title itself it is evident that the editorial focuses on the path for 16th finance commissions and its roadmap 
we look into the part of the important issues like vertical and horizon horizontal des, uh, jo distributions hai ya dimensions hai we'll see that share of the state in the divisible pool recommendations and the way forward now 16 finance commissions ki agar baat kare it is due to set up shortly uh, currently 15 finance commissions ki tenor badhai gayi hai recently now it's time that government will be establishing and coming up with a 16 finance commission now many critical challenges are there in place for the finance commissions uh, since agar 2017 ki baat kare 15 finance commission ke baad covid 19 hui and even subsequently geopolitical challenges or crisis ki baat kare this is specifically with regards to russia and ukraine this is continue till date right now the vertical and horizontal dimensions ki baat kare if you look at the part of the 14 finance commission this was a commission which has severely impact you know increased the part of divisible pool jahan pe pehle 32% hua karti thi it has increased it to 42% now further revise ki gayi aur ise 41% kiya gaya because jnk was further you know jahan pe jnk ko abrogate ki gayi thi uske baad 1% jo devolution hai wo rakhi gayi thi jnk ke liye aur sare states ke liye 41 ki gayi and this uh, when the state was in india 20 Now, during 21 and 23, 24, the effective share of the state in the gross revenue has closed to 31 percent, right? Which was significantly lower, nearly 35 percent over Karthi in 2015, 16, or 19, 20. This is the part where heavy reliance was there on the surcharges and cess, because this requires scrutiny by the 16 finance commissions. So, what high surges? We are still paying 4 percent of the surge. If you file taxes, education cess. other says that is their environmental says part of the combination says is there which is 4% charge share of states in divisible pool ki agar baat kare so actually divisible pool jo hoti hai yahan pe jo central government hai they actually give share to the state government so this is determined on certain indicators which include the part for population one second is the per capita income third is the area fourth is the incentive related factor such as forest cover and demographic changes to ye kuch factor hai jo state ko divisible pool mein share banane mein madad karti hai in the case of uh, capital income it is the state per capita income that come with the bench and even the average per capita income in the top 3 is used to determine the factor right so this is how the creation and the part of the allocations were used or given to the states now this distance uh, implies on the last year or the divisible pool of the lower income state at present agar highest weight ki baat kare 45% is given as the highest weight and many of the richer state have argued for lowering the weight given the creation but again this is something that the 16 finance commission will have to decide that how they will move ahead kuch recommendations ki agar baat kare so the debt to gdp as combined the central and state government which has picked up to 89% or is 89% may state ki jo percentage hai that is 58.7 and the the part of the other states goes to 31 now the center physical has shot up to 9.2% of the gdp and the state up to 4.1% so innovations ke taur pe finance commissions ne loan council ki baat ki hai this loan council was recommended actually by the two wealth finance commission two wealth finance commissions ne iske recommendations di thi an independent body should oversee the loan magnitude and profile for the central and the state government now to conclude the part 16 finance ke paas ek important challenges hongi and this 16 finance commission will definitely decide upon a lot many thing and they should examine the subject of non merit subsidies in detail however the exclusion of unjustified subsidies while determining the grant may cause for the finance commissions and caught in the political ceasefire the finance commissions should be restrict about this the state maintaining the fiscal deficit with limits now it should provide carrot to the states maintaining the fiscal deficit and sticks to those who exceed the financial limit so this is how the carrot and stick policy for part of motivations or incentivizing the states will be accordingly done with the help of the finance commission with the establishment of 16 finance commissions I'm moving ahead with the MCQ questions of the day. Before I proceed, just to tell you the answers of yesterday questions. For first question, the correct option is C. For second question, the correct option is B. Today's MCQ for practice about the sugar industry. India is the largest 
producer and exporter of sugar in the world government of india has been increasing the means to divert sugar for ethanol blending so do check out for the correct option second is about the nobel prizes the prize is handed with a gold medal and a diploma only the nobel laureates are eligible to submit the nominations for the nobel prize so practicing a part of the contemporary and something questions related to that will definitely help you to gauge an extra edge in the examination this was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis if you have any other queries about courses admissions you can reach out to us we'll be more than happy to assist you for time being i'm signing off thank you so much for watching